It's your boy Mo signing on for Fresh Colorway, and today we're gonna take a look at the February 2023 Jordan releases. And I need you to join a fresh crew. How you join a fresh crew? You click like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and follow us on social media at Fresh Colorway on Facebook, TikTok and Instagram. I know that's right. Now make sure y'all tune into our live stream every Wednesday night over on Facebook. I put the link down in the description so you can follow so you don't miss out. Now I can't lie, the month of February is shaping up to be a decent little sneaker month. Starting off on February 3rd with the Jordan 2 Lucky Green. Now as y'all know, Jordan brand has been trying to bring back the Jordan 2 whether it be with these collaborations they doing and other little releases and they capped off last year with them Jordan 2 Chicago so these Jordan 2 Lucky Greens is pretty solid to me in my personal opinion when it comes to Jordan 2's less is more you just want a solid base with the little hints of a different color sort of like how the Chicago's was but these with the green is very dope in my opinion plus these should be releasing with a price point of $175 which is lower than most of these other Jordan releases. So it's about that Jordan 1 category. It is less than a Jordan 1 now because the Jordan 1s are at 180. So I feel like this is a good pickup. You smack a coupon on it, you might pick these up for 140 dollars So I'm all for it. Now this next shoe is a banger and I'm mad that it only come in women's sizing. Hopefully we might get extended sizing in these. I don't know just yet. But on February 9th, we got the Jordan 4 Seafoam. Now these Seafoams are nice. This is one that I definitely would have put in my collection if they come in extended sizing. Most likely they only gonna go up to a 10 and a half, you know, in men's sizes, which is a women's size 12, like most women releases. But as y'all know, the Jordan 4s are the wave right now. So all the Jordan 4s are gonna be going crazy. I expect this one to be no different. The retail price on these is gonna be $200 which is a little high, but you know, it's okay. That, that's about what Jordans are going for in nine days. This basically has the same color blocking as the Jordan 4 Fire Reds. Just they swapped out the Fire Red color with that Seafoam color. And I, I do like the Seafoam color. I feel like it's neutral enough that you can pull it off with a lot of different things. So this is definitely a cop in my book. Then two days later on February 11th, we had a Jordan 4 Crafts. Now these Craft Jordan 4s are okay, okay. That, this one might be the first pass for real of the month. Now I do like what Jordan brand does with the craft shoes, with all the nice materials they put on there. And you know, this one seems to be no different. It does have like that furry suede on a toe cap, as well as around the ankle and the inside of the shoe. So it looks pretty nice, but the colorway just kind of throws me a little bit. I would prefer like a more cleaner colorway, maybe, you know, something a little more wearable, but you know, it's just kind of a weird colorway to me that make me kind of want to pass on these. And I'll be 100% honest, like when I see these in hand, you know, get to see the color really, you know, under the lights and really in person, I may want to cop them, I ain't gonna lie though, cause they, they decent, but it's basically a borderline shoe. It's one of the shoes that I won't die if I don't have. And you know, I ain't gonna break my neck to try to get these. I definitely won't pay resale for them. So, you know, if I grab them, I grab them, if not, you know, I'll live to fight another day. But let me know what y'all think about these Jordan 4 crafts. Is this something y'all gonna pick up? Drop it down in the comment section below. Now the next shoe will be dropping on February 15th, and that's the Jordan 1 OG High 85, black and white. Now to be honest, these black and whites are really a pass for me. They nothing but pandas in my, in my humble opinion. You might as well go grab a panda, you know, the high, the high top pandas for these. Now these do have a retail price of $200, and I am trying to be a little more picky this year, so. The one thing about these, the only reason why I would grab them is if I can get them for under retail and I could get them just to add to the 85 high collection because Jordan 85 highs don't release that much and when they do, it's kind of hard to buy them. Like they are pretty limited. So, you know, at this point, if I pick up these, it'll only be for that reason. I don't need them. I have like two pair of Panda Dunk Lows. I don't even like really Panda Dunk highs and this is just too simple of a colorway for me to pick up for the Jordan 1 OG High at that price for you, point. One thing about 85 Highs, they all usually hold their resale value. So if you're looking to invest in these, you will make your money back and some. 85 Highs always settle around that $400, $450 price range. So this one should be no different. The next shoe on the list is releasing on February 17th, and that's the Jordan 1 OG High Women 
reverse Laney's. And for those who don't know, Laney High School is a school that Jordan went to and played for in high school. And that's why they always give a tribute to Laney colorway. They call the Laney Bucks and their colors are that goldish color in the blue. Now this colorway really ain't bad. It ain't all that bad. However, we basically got the same exact shoes in a Nike Dunk Low earlier, which is the Nike Dunk Low UCLA. Now, being that these are women exclusive, like all the other women exclusives, typically they go up to a men's size 10, 10 and a half, which is a women's size 12. So all my big feet brothers, y'all probably gonna have to settle for the Dunk Low UCLA. Now, in my humble opinion, this shoe is an acquired taste, so I don't see these doing too crazy on the resale market. I don't even see them selling out. You should be able to grab these pretty easily. But all in all, I think it is a pretty decent shoe. I like that they put that red on the tongue to make it pop a little bit on that Nike Air tag. So all in all, I think this makes for a dope shoe. Now the next shoe on the list drops on February 18th. And this is a must cop. Like all the OG heads, everybody who you know grew up watching Jordan, who been collecting shoes for a minute, y'all gotta be copping these. And that's the Jordan 13 playoffs now in my humble opinion the jordan 13 playoffs is one of the most iconic shoes in the whole jordan lineup still expect these to sit when they release because usually when they give us them ogs like this with the og form 100 percent a lot of times they make a ridiculous amount of pairs of these and people don't be putting respect on the ogs like that but i'll well, definitely be grabbing a pair of these so this is almost double up worthy i might double up on these but these are definitely a must cop very dope. It seemed like they returned in a true OG form. Exactly the same how Jordan had them when he wore them on the court. So I definitely recommend picking these up. Now the fresh crew might clown me for this next pickup. Cause these might be a must cop. I gotta see them in hand to give you the final verdict. But on February 25th, we getting the Jordan 1 OG High Cement. Now these Jordan 1 OG High White Cements will be releasing with the retail price of $180. And based on these official images, with the right lace swap, you might be able to drift these right. Now the colorway itself is a little far out there. I, I can't lie, it is. But the color blocking is perfect. It got that Chicago type color blocking with the elephant print. Now this one is an acquired taste too. Like, you know, you gotta really be able to drip something like this with the right outfit. This might be one of those ones. Now I'm definitely gonna pick these up. Now whether I keep them or not might be a different story. I really have to see them in hand to see how this elephant print really looks, you know. I like how they got the age midsole. And as you know, Jordan brand over the last like two, three years, it's all been about this sale colorway on the midsole to give it that age look. And I'm totally fine with that with these because this seemed like an age type shoe just with that elephant print all over it. The materials look like they might be nice on this shoe. So I'm gonna go ahead and say this one is a cop. It's, a, it's not a must cop, but it's definitely a cop. I'ma definitely pick them up, do a review, and then we gonna make our decision in whether or not we gonna keep them. And before we get out of here, I wanna hear from the Fresh Crew. What shoes dropping in February are y'all gonna cop for sure? Is it any double ups on this list? Any shoes y'all gonna list sit? Drop it down in the comment section below. And I need you to join the Fresh Crew. How you join the Fresh Crew, you click like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and follow us on social media. At Fresh Colorway on Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram. It's your boy Mo signing out for Fresh Colorway, and I'll catch y'all on the next one.